just like many of you, I found myself asking questions as to how does a former school teacher moves from being a prison convict to accumulating a net worth of over 250 million rands in South Africa. Now, Kenny Kunene is a man who one can say has seen life in every form. Leaving behind a life of crime and turning himself into one of the most respected businessmen and politicians has certainly not been an easy journey. It is for that reason that here at Easy Finance, we saw it fit to document the real life story and the struggles that he had to go through to amass such great wealth. Remember that these videos are only for educational purposes and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share while you are at it. Kenny Kunene was born on the 21st of October 1980 to a typical black family where he was raised by a single mother and his grandparents. His mother served as an evangelist and a faith healer, while on the other side, the grandmother was the sole breadwinner, working as a midwife. Now, due to the political climate that South Africa was facing at the time, it led Kulungunene to joining student politics at the mere age of 10 years old. It was only at the age of 15 years old that Kenikunene was imprisoned for six months due to his role in student uprising and protest in the Free State region. I was starting to see a very interesting parallel here. Just like Julius Malema, Kenikunene found himself joining politics at a very young age. Just like many young people at the time, Kenikunene was driven and had high dreams and hopes to better his life. This was shown by when he moved to Vista University after leaving Rehabeto Secondary School to pursue a degree in teaching. He later graduated from Vista University and started working as an history and English teacher. But the mere salary that he was receiving as a school teacher didn't prove fruitful enough to meet his future goal and expectations. Now, as a man who was determined to make it against all odds and made his life better, Kenikunene went on to open a shibin where he sold alcohol after school hours. But in reality, the money that he made from his shibin and his salary as a teacher wasn't enough to live a certain lifestyle, which is what Kenikunene wanted with his whole heart. Now, seeing no way out, out of his dilemma, Kenikunene started getting involved in robberies and other fraudulent activities. But he was later nailed for a Ponzi scheme that he ran in 1997, which landed him in prison. So his six years prison sentence would prove to be one of the harshest times that he has ever experienced in his life. It was at this time that he made a vow that he never wanted to go back to prison and he strived to continue pushing for a better life, but this time in more legal ways. As a man who was determined to change his ways and better his life, he went back to his teaching profession and started teaching at Calculus Private School in Bloemfontein. Now, a life as a teacher wasn't everything that he has aspired for, but it was better than being on the streets and hustling for money in ways that would land him in prison again. Now, as luck would have it, on one of those fruitful days while he was still at the school ground where he was coaching the school football team, Gaten McKenzie made an appearance with a new car and a new business proposition to Kenny Kunene. Now, you'll remember Gaten McKenzie recalling how he met Kenny Kunene, that Kenny Kunene was the boy who saved his life while they were in prison. It was at that time that Kenny Kunene and Gaten McKenzie formed a brotherhood and promised each other that they would look after one another once they were outside prison. Now, after seeing Gaten McKenzie come in to collect him with a sports car, refueled some of the old ambitions and dreams that Kenny Kunene had and left his job at an instant. He later went on to start a marketing and advertising agency known as X Concept together with Gaten McKenzie. Now, the company was established with the sole mandate of promoting the present biography of Gaten McKenzie and also promoting him as a motivational speaker, which later rubbed on to Kenny Kunene, who later on became a public speaker himself. It was his interest into public speaking that led him into rooms that he had never thought he'd be as a present convict. Now, they both made political and business connections during their journey as public speakers, which led them to establishing a seafood distribution business, which went on to become one of the most successful businesses on their portfolios. And one thing worth noting is that Kenny Kunene never left the political arena as he was a member of the African National Congress, openly supporting Zuma until the end of 2013 when he left on with Julius Malema to join the Economic Freedom Fighters, becoming its member of parliament. It's also worth noting that Julius Malema was close friends with Kenny Kunene and an impasse between the two led him and Gaten McKenzie to opening a party called the Patriotic Alliance. Now, in 2008, Kenny Kunene worked as a lobbyist and public relations consultant for a mining company called Central Rand Gold, which he started with Gaten McKenzie. Now, they were both under the investigations by the Hawks in 2012, and fortunately for them, no charge was laid against them. Now, in 2017, Kenny Kunene invested in African News Global, a media company formerly known as African News 24. 
Now, according to Kenny Kunene, starting African News Global was to create an alternative narrative to the mainstream media and provide a voice for the voiceless. Their aim was to create a media that would tell the news without siding with any political party. Now, in 2019, he also took another bold step by setting a vehicle hire service and launching an app called Yuku Rides that allows people to book rides with so much ease across South Africa. The aim was to create a taxi hailing company that would rival the more established taxi hailing brands such as Bolt and Uber. He is also the founder of a record label known as New Money Records and has a controversial club known as Clubza. Now these are some of the businesses that contribute to Kenny Mkunene's net worth of over 250 million rands. But at the moment, the tech entrepreneur has decided to focus on his tech company known as Smart City Technology, which runs the UQ ride. Now other businesses that contribute to Kenny Kunene's 250 million rands net worth includes a mining consultancy company, a public relations company, a government relations company, skills training and development, and many more. Now, it is his consistency and hard work that lead him to building more companies and he still has more companies under his belt that are coming to South Africa. Now, apart from being a businessman, Kenny Kunele is also known as the king of sushi, a man who spends money like no other business. He started coming into the limelight by being featured in sushi parties where he had the likes of Kanyimbao at a time where South Africa was popping. And according to reports, Kenny Kunene's house is what you may call a dream house. It has an estimated value of over 20 million rands and it is furnished with some of the most expensive interior decorations and furniture that you can imagine. Now the businessman's love for luxury does not end with only houses and big mansions. It also includes a collection of fast and luxurious cars which he owns. Now some of the most expensive cars that I featured in Kenny Kunene's garage includes a Rolls Royce, a Lamborghini, a 911 Porsche Carrera, a GTS Porsche Cayenne, a BMW 1 Series, and a Lamborghini Gallardo Hybrid. Now, Kenny Kunene is also a family man who's also heavily married to a non Lego with Nimshanga, and together they have two children. It's also worth noting that Kenny Kunene has other three children from his previous marriage with Matato Kunene, which was annulled in 2012. Now, as a man who was in the public scene, Kenny Kunene was also involved with some of the most famous celebrities in South Africa, including Sofin Daba and Zaman Ngobo. Now, Kenny Kunene is currently serving as the transport MMC in the city of Johannesburg, a great position which allows him to further promote his e-hailing business. Kenny Kunene has proven against all odds that a man can make it in whatever the circumstances that he finds himself in. His story was very inspirational and very educational. And also another lesson is that a prison sentence is not a life sentence. You can still make it whatever your goals are. And please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. And let us know under the comment section if you enjoyed this short feature of Kenny Kunene and some of the businesses that he started as a prison convict to becoming one of the richest politicians in South Africa.